Hello everyone, I am Legend here, bringing you guys the best map optimization slash map building guide in Wild Hearts. We continue the series with Fugu Fusagi Fort Map. Before starting the map guide, I would love to give a huge shout out and special thanks to my friend Ralgrim. Without him, this video would not have been possible. He has over 350 hours in the game and the best map layouts I have seen so far. And we thought of making a video on the same and give you guys some ideas on how to build your map. Remember, this is just an idea on how to build your map. You don't have to build it the same way. Whatever layout works for you and you're happy about it, that's all matters. Not gonna lie, this is one of the maps which is very difficult for traversal, but I have tried my best. We follow the same pattern of placing four tents in each corner and one in the middle. You spawn in the cavern camp when you reach this area for the first time, but we will be using the camp in the middle called Himasama Hideout for most of the traversal. The cavern camp offers more room compared to the others, so I have decided to place my Orient Food Shrines in this camp. Moving forward from this camp, you can simply slide down and face the kimono which spawn here during few of the hunts. Namely, I have seen cobalt lava back and ice dust spawning in this area. Also you can move from the other side which takes you to the frozen lake and it also offers you some good ore farming spots on this map. Especially you can get some lump of ore if you are lucky. Now let's travel to Himasama hideout where we will be doing most of the traversal from. This is also the camp where lurid soul stalker spawns at the bottom of the building and the game recommends you to place the camp here as well. So you cannot miss it. The first flying wind takes us to the bottom and you can directly go to the lurid soul stalker from here. And this is where you fight it. Let me travel back and show you where other flying winds lead us to. This flying wind takes us to the regular spawns of ice dust and cobalt lava back. Also, you can drop down in the middle and fight the other kimono which spawns. I have seen dead stalker and the chicken spawning or lurking around in this area. But I have another flying wind at the camp to give us easy access. Just like this one. This flying wind takes us to the mid area where you could fight a bunch of kimono which regularly roam that area or spawn there. They usually spawn in this area or the area behind us or tend to run away during the fights. Let me travel back and show you the other traversal points. The last flying vine on the right side of the camp takes us to a location where bunch of kimono either spawn or run away during the fights. But just for the convenience, I have placed another tent which gives us access to this area more easily so you can either take a flying vine or just fast travel to this area. This is the tent which I have placed, so you can either fast travel or use a flying wind to get to this area.
Now let's travel back to the camp we came from and I will show you where the other flying vines lead us to. This flying vine takes us to an area where couple of kimonos spawn, namely chicken or a fume beak or tend to run off during the fights. This also gives us access to the healing water as well. Now let's travel to the camp on the far left which gives us access to frozen lake area where you can fight off a couple of kimono which spawn there during few of the hunts or run away during the fights. I have placed couple of flying vines which gives you access to the fort area and also the broken building where dead stalker usually lurks around. In this area you sometimes fight the dead stalker which usually runs away during the fights or tend to spawn here in few of the hunts. This is the broken building where dead stalker usually lurks around in most of the hunts I have seen. Now let's travel to the final camp at the bottom right which gives you access to the back area of the map and also to few of the kimono spawns. This is also the area I have shown you earlier which gives you access through one of the flying vines from Himasama hideout. You can either use that one or just fast travel here to cut down the time. Also you can see one of the kimono which spawned in the distance which you can easily fight off namely the ice tusk. Alright, so this is how you build Furubu Fusagi Fort. Again, this is just me showing you how I built it and give you layout ideas. You don't have to build it this way and you have more better layouts, please do share them in the comment section below. I have received a feedback on my previous video for Haruka Sumiwe where you can place the tent near Sakura Blossom Tree which helps in farming the meats from the small kimono much more faster and efficiently. So if you have some suggestions like that, please do share them in the comments. We will be making videos of the other maps too, so please stay tuned. Leave a like if you found this video helpful. And also please subscribe for more Wild Hearts content. I am trying to hit 1000 subs by end of the year, so subscribing really helps me a ton. See you guys in the next one and happy hunting.